Opinion a dreadful February means Aston Villa's promotion hopes are left hanging by a thread and fans are once again left searching for answers on where it has gone wrong. Questions are being asked about coaching, selection, preparation, fitness and, as usual, a transfer policy that has once again left the team failing to punch anywhere near close to their weight. One of the marquee signings widely hailed as a coup at the time was the capture on a season-long loan last August of Everton winger Yannick Bellassi. Villa beat Middlesbrough to the capture of the Congo International after agreeing to pay all of his £70,000 a week wages, source, Telegraph. The player was back at his parent club in January after making just two championship starts and failing to live anywhere near up to his reputation or salary. So, why this deal, which seemed such a smart one, go so badly wrong? Speaking to Belgian publication Lemuse Balassi has provided some insight that is alarming for Villa followers. He said, I just wasn't fit. I didn't have a pre-season with Everton because I was following a special program. During the first 10 to 12 games, I was playing 25 minutes here and there. It was the best way of getting back in shape, because I wasn't ready for more, that is truly staggering and will leave the heads of many fans spinning. Where was the due diligence on the deal from Villa's recruitment team? How did they not know they were signing a player only fit enough for breezy cameos? To shell out such vast sums for big name when a lamentable recent fitness record shows the lessons of recent years just haven't been learned.